Lab. G'day! Welcome back to the lab. Today I'd like to talk to you about matter, or more specifically how matter can change. Changes to matter occur around us all the time. Chopping or burning wood, building a house, cooking a delicious meal, and exploding fireworks are all examples of matter changing. Changes to matter occur in two main ways. There are physical changes and chemical changes. A physical change is something that changes the physical properties of matter, like a change to its shape, size or state. During a physical change, no new matter is formed. Cutting a sheet of paper is an example of a physical change. By cutting the paper, its shape and size changes, but no new matter is formed. In many cases, physical changes can be reversed. This means matter can be changed back to its original state or condition before the physical change occurred. Just like folding this sheet of paper into an origami crane and then unfolding it back into its original shape. state is also a reversible physical change. When solid ice is heated, it changes into liquid water. Heating water causes it to evaporate into gas water vapour. Cooling the water vapour changes it back to water. Even though the matter has changed state, no new matter has been made. Now let's take a look at chemical change. A chemical change occurs when two or more substances combine to form a new substance. A simple example of a chemical change is lighting a match. A match is lit by striking it against a rough surface which causes friction. The heat from the friction ignites the chemicals which produces light and heat. As the match burns, smoke is given off. The burnt match is now completely burnt. The wood has changed into ash and there is nothing we can do to change the ash back into wood. So like most chemical changes, this change is irreversible. Chemical changes occur at different rates. Some can occur rapidly, like the explosion of fireworks. Others occur slowly, like the burning of a log. Chemical changes like weathering and erosion can occur over millions of years. We can identify when a chemical change has taken place or has taken place in the past by looking for evidence of a chemical change. Such evidence can include a change in colour like the presence of red rust on iron or tarnish on silverware. Many chemical changes give off heat and light like the burning of a flammable gas or wood. 
Digestion is a chemical change because it is a process that breaks food down into smaller molecules so we can use it for energy. Speaking of digestion, I'm off to get some lunch. Thanks for learning and I'll see you again soon. Thank you.